man was 10 years old. I watched her through grammar school, high school, and college. Helene had her doubts about dating me. <laughs> because she heard from a lot of people that we had a lot of bachelors in our family, and she was wasting her time. <laughs> and she happened to be very friendly with two decorators, Tommy and Fred, <laughs> from Riverdale, who invited us to their big parties in Connecticut every summer. And they spoke to me quite a bit on the side, and I don't know what I said wrong to them, because I know they always liked me. <laughs> but they said to Helene, we really think you're wasting your time. And by the way, whenever we see them, I remind them how many years it's been since they said that. So I started to see Helene, started to date her. Friends of mine, which I'm, who I'm sure you all know, the Struls, helped a lot in getting her to uh, go out with me because she wasn't uh, too favorable about it. <laughs> so we went out a few times. And then I called her and said, I'd like to take the girls uh, out for breakfast with us so that we could get to talk all together. And we went to the Riverdale Diner. <laughs> and I had to just tell you this one story. The girls are really quite different, Amy and Joanne. Uh, jo Joanne is very uh, soft-spoken and, and um, reserved. And Amy is more outspoken. <laughs> so we were sitting Why at the table, we started ordering, and the, the, the diner was very crowded. And I see the girls smooching with, it, with each other and whispering to each other and giggling. So being the curious person I am, I had to know what they were talking about because I knew they were talking about me. <laughs> so I said, girls, is there anything uh, you want to ask me or anything special? And of course, Amy said, <laughs> yes, there is, Mel. She was nine. We'd like to know if you're going to marry Mom. <laughs> Shocking. And I don't have to tell you, I was speechless. But more than that, the diner was very crowded, and anyone in hearing distance of us turned around to look at our table. And I, I knew they were all looking at our table, and I put my hand up and waved to them. <laughs> that Helene let me know how much the kids liked me, which I wasn't surprised at all about. I'm a very likable person. You're not mentioning so, like... So she said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see you anymore. And I said, I know you're kidding me. She said, no, because everybody's telling me I'm wasting my time. Ultimatum. So we had a, we hit a very rocky road after that for quite a few months. And New Year's Eve came around, and our good friends from Westchester rented out the Westchester Tennis Club, had it catered for New Year's Eve, rented the whole club, and the Struls again helped me. And they said to Helene, you, you got to let Mel take you to the, for New Year's to the tennis club. And she said, I don't know if I should be doing that. They said, you got to. So, Struls told me to call her, and I called her, and she said, yes, I'll go with you, Mel, but you can't pick me up at the apartment. I said, that's not fair. I want to see the girls. She said, you can't see the girls, because I don't want the girls to get hurt. So she said, she said, I'll meet you in the garage. <laughs> I said, that's not it's fair, but it's worth it to see you and be with you. So I met her in the garage downstairs, and she said she can't tell the girls she's going out with me because now they'll think that everything is OK, and things are starting up again, and everything will be all right. So we had a terrific time, and we left each other New Year's Eve. And I came home, and I called her at 3 o'clock in the morning, asked her if she would marry me. <laughs> so that's how I came into the family. And of course, I don't have to tell you, when I came to the apartment and we announced it to the girls, they went off the wall, and they called the strolls, and they were screaming, screaming, <laughs> Mel asked Mom to marry.
Can we go to the diner? Happy, Happy anniversary. And Joanne when he said, came over, he can I? Into the house. Oh, I walked first thing he said is, well, first thing we said, Mommy got a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy got a divorce. And you said, can you I throw up the bag dad? of potato chips? You forgot about the potato yeah, chips. The wise potato chips. <laughs> the what? The potato, potato chips. chips. You threw the potato chips up in the air. Yeah, had oh, before. yeah, and I had, a, I had a little tape recorder with me to he record knew. the girls running to the phone to call the Struls and said, they're going to get married, they're going to get married. And I'll just never forget that day. And so Joanne was, said, can I call you dad? Yes. <laughs> yes. Joanne has not changed since the day I've known her. She still looks like... High school. <laughs> she has she, she has brought brought up two it's terrific disgusting, children. Disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> and she's become a beautiful young lady. And I hope to celebrate a lot more happy and healthy birthdays.